everyone. My name is Beth and this is the Transparent Homeschool. Um, I'm going to do a really quick video today of the Memoria Press Kindergarten Science uh, read, um, reading list. I did purchase this. We did not purchase the read aloud set. Um, we decided to rent most of them from the library and it worked out pretty well for, for us. Um, I am fighting through a head cold, so that's why I sound stuffy. So we're going to get started and um, jump in. So like I said before, we did not purchase the read aloud set. Um, I do have a very small sample here for you. Um, we did check most of them out from the library. They're really, really good books, great classics. Um, we also did not purchase these directly from Memoria Press. Um, we kind of had to go to other um, websites and do that. But for the most part, they're really great. And again, these are these read aloud books are where all of your crafts will come from. Um, and then in the enrichment guide, they have a chock full of great questions to ask that goes along with um, each one of these books. And they're so great. And what's great about the read aloud the read aloud list is the enrichment books tie into what you're learning about from your um, from your read alouds. So basically, the um, enrichment reading list comes in four sections, I guess. So one is the Cat in the Hat Learning Library. One is um, Let's Read and Find Out Science. One are just these kind of, like, picture books. And then the last section is all from Gail Gibbons. Um, so, oh, you know what? I left one. Give me one second. Okay, so we're going to go through the Cat in the Hat um, Learning Library first. I absolutely love these books, and my children think they are just the greatest. They all rhyme inside, but yet the information is super um, un easy to understand, and the pictures are really great. Just really good quality nonfiction books about different topics. And again... These are just such a great um, supplement to whatever the read aloud is because they are so fun and my children just absolutely love them. So that was the cat in the hat. These are going to be the uh, let's read and find out science. These are a little bit more, uh, I guess just your traditional nonfiction um, picture books, which is okay. I mean, it's not anything bad, but we just tend to, uh, tend to like the cat in the hat a little bit more. So again, all kinds of different topics. That go along with your read-alouds. Pictures are really great. The information's not too overwhelming. My children did like the um, the books that had to do with weather. It was easy for them to kind of connect with like their um, everyday world. These are kind of the ones that didn't really fit into any of the categories. So here's one about Christmas Around the World, we absolutely love this book. It was so cool to learn about the different um, countries and what they do. Um, and then what I did was went online, kind of, and um, I picked just one of the countries from the list, and we made, like, kind of a traditional um, Christmas meal. And that was a super awesome um, kind of, like, project that we got to do. 
and African lions. What's really funny, this was the most expensive um, book that we got from our, from the second, um, like the second hand website. Like, I don't know. It seemed a little silly to me, but yeah, that was the most expensive. Town Mouse and Country Mouse. This is a super cute um, book just about like the differences between country and towns. And again, these books were chosen for a reason. They're super rich in nonfiction information, but again, some of these pictures are just gorgeous. Really, really rich. Okay, what about Thanksgiving? This was a good one that we read um, at Thanksgiving time, obviously. And then last, the Gail Gibbons books. <clears throat> These, I will say, are quite lengthy. And the information is... Um, they don't shy away from a lot of information in these books. So we usually would read these like in the morning at breakfast. And it would literally take us the entire breakfast time to read these books. I mean, the information is great in there and the pictures are really great. And I think my kids learned a lot from them, but they were just, again, the, the longest of all of the, of all of the, um, science books. So I'm really glad that we went ahead and bought the um, enrichment list. I'm a very large fan of nonfiction um, books being um, easily accessible to my kids. Not that there's anything wrong with fiction or anything, or the read-alouds. Like I said, the read-alouds are just great books that they chose. But I just really love um, discussing things that my kids can really relate to. Like, we read this book on vegetables, and they got to tell me which vegetables were their favorite, and then we did kind of like a little taste tasting of some of the vegetables in there. And again, with like the moon book, we got to go outside and look at the different faces of the moon. But, yeah, just a lot of information. Probably best to break up over a few days. This one was about the history of Groundhog's Day, which was really funny. The pumpkin book. So after we read this book, we went on a field trip to the pumpkin patch and we got our pumpkins for Halloween. And for this one, we went to the apple orchard um, for like a pick your own apple event. And that was really fun too. So again, these just really tie in with all of the read alouds that you're doing. And then usually you can find some really great... Um, field trips to accompany the science books as well. So that is all of the books that came in the um, in the science enrichment list. Again, I'm really happy that we went with this list. Um, if our budget were more, we probably would have bought the read aloud too, but we got them from the library instead, which is okay. So thank you for um, watching this video. And I will try and get another video out in a couple of days. Thank you.